Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com. How are you guys today? I hope everyone is doing good, doing well, and staying safe out there. And uh, yeah, we're kicking the year off here, January 2021. And uh, got a lot in store for us this year, guys, and uh, hope you guys can tune in. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll be bringing you content like this each and every week in the VW world. So guys, what are we doing today? I'm gonna actually do an unboxing of an interior kit that I got in for a client of mine. And we were doing a Build-A-Bug project for an awesome guy named Landon out of Texas. And uh, he sent us a 1958 Glacier Blue sedan beetle that's been in his family since 1958. It was his grandfather's car. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that really touches home to me. And uh, it's, it's just a great story. And it's just, I think it's awesome that uh, Landon is uh, someone like my age and you know bringing back their family history and their heritage that sort of thing and um, it's really heartwarming to hear you know stuff like that so I am honored to to do the project so um, before we do the unboxing you guys remember Kaffir Lab and uh, good friends of mine over there KaffirLab.com and uh, one of the products that they have here that I think is really cool that's on the market is uh, these glove box organizers. They're like these little shelves that you can put in the glove box of your Beetle sedan, convertible, anything from uh, oval window Beetle that you'll see here, or say split window Beetle from like the Zwitter era from 52 to 57. That's the smaller glove box uh, liner there. Or you have the 58 to 67, and then they even have onward uh, to get an organizer. And they're pretty cool. And uh, I'll have links in the description below the video where you can uh, head over there and pick one of these up. Uh, I do have a coupon code so you guys can use a coupon and uh, put these in. This is actually pretty simple to put together. It's a three piece set here. This is a flat piece, kind of like a really nice masonite kind of wood. Um, I don't know exactly, they'll probably tell you for sure, but these slide on, you see here, like this. I'm pulling this off. So when they ship them to you, you have to assemble them. So this will slide off, but we're going to put this back on like this, and it's pretty simple to put into a car. I actually found assembling it just like this, put it in the glove box, and then you might have to just cock the vertical pieces just a little bit to get it to go in. And then that's it. You straighten out the vertical pieces, and then you're in. I think that's so cool. Anything cute like this is always great for a beetle, you know, especially something like this. And then if you want, you put your little papers in there. Got my uh, insurance, registration, anything like that. You know, I think it's pretty cool. I got some tools here. I'm going to put those up over here. Nice little glove box organizer. KafferLab.com, guys, you can't beat that the quality the fit and finish is really nice too so uh yeah take a look in the description below Okay, so here's the box for Landon's interior, and I bought this interior from uh, Lenny Kopp, West Coast Classic Restorations in Fullerton, California. And Lenny is the guy who's got the correct stuff for your year bug. Landon wanted to go back bone stock, factory look for his Glacier Blue Beetle. And uh, I'm going to throw up on the screen here uh, an old 58 that went for sale on oldbug.com uh, uh, many years ago. And this will give you the idea of what a glacier blue with the correct interior should look like. Now 5859 Beetle is a two-year combination only. Uh, so once they got out of the oval era they had uh, you know their own characteristics for, for 5859 and then when 60 came around that changed again. So uh, it's pretty unique to get this kind of an interior for your Beetle and Lenny, I believe, is one of the only guys that actually can do it correctly. I do love Sofine. I use them a lot. But um, what you see here, here's the door panel for 58 Glacier Blue. So you have the dark navy blue top and bottom. 
and then you have this diamond uh, pattern here, this gray diamond shaped pattern here, which is correct for 5859. Uh, so if you went with say so fine, she can do the exact thing here, uh, but I do not believe she has this diamond pattern just yet or if she's going to get it. Um, so, but she can definitely do something similar, um, but just not this piece here. You, you know, a lot of times you might go with a gray tweed here, or I would maybe go with a gray tweed here if somebody, one of my clients wanted to go with so fine. Um, so you can go gray tweed, or even she could just make this straight vinyl. Uh, so you have the blue, the dark blue, the, the diamond pattern, and then you have the off-white piping. So it was like a, a tri-color uh, that was going on in 58, 59. And then what you see is this blue stripe here. That's actually the chrome trim. So Lenny will actually install these for you when uh, you place an order. If you don't want him to do that, uh, you can do it yourself and you can pick up the chrome trim, say from wolfsburgwest.com. Sometimes they get them in, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're back ordered. You know, I've, I've had issues uh, there. Um, but for the most part, uh, they do eventually come around. Uh, so you'll see the chrome trim here. And what it is, is, is there's a clip that slides into the back of this trim and then will poke into the back of the board. You see where these parts here are. And so once the clip uh, goes through the masonite board here, you just hammer it down and then you can finish it off with some good tape here to hold it in place, some Gorilla Tape if you want. Um, so that would finish that off. So they all had this chrome trim on the door panels up until 59. And then once they hit 60, they pretty much uh, stopped doing that. And then it came back again actually in 66, which is kind of odd. So uh, for that one year. Um, but um, yeah, so this is your door panel. This is the driver's door panel. Now again, on, the, on these kits, driver's panel would have the pocket and the passengers would have the armrest. So you see here, here's the passenger panel, no pocket, and you would put the armrest on here. So you have the holes uh, pre-drilled here for the armrest. Now the armrest for, for these years is unique. It's not like your typical armrest that you would see in the 60s. It's more of like a pillow, a flat pillow uh, that would go on this door panel and it's like you can't get your hand behind it it's just a pillow you grab it was kind of odd to even use that as a grab uh, I think it was more or less for an armrest uh, more than a grab so and then here's your rear door panels same thing and the chrome trim did continue into the rear door panel very nice it's always a nice touch here I actually on my 61 convertible I called Carol up from SoFine. I had an interior done with her with that car, and I told her to give me 50s style door panels uh, because I want to put chrome trim on. So we put chrome trim on my 61 convertible. Would not have been correct, but um, it, it plays the part in my eyes, and it, it still looks vintage. It still looks the, the part. So there's the second door panel here. And you also remember there's an ashtray cut out for the back. Usually the ashtrays were on the passenger side. And then here's your back seat that you see here. And so again, a two-tone two seat, uh, more a three-tone if you, if you ask me, but uh, it's, it's a light gray vinyl on the face of the seat and the bottom rest of the seat. And then it's the sides and back that are the blue vinyl. Now again, in the 50s Beatles, Lenny does this on his, which is correct, and that is a cardboard backing to the backrest of the back seat. And then you would have these metal rails that actually fasten to this cardboard back here. Uh, if you have your original upholstery, um, many times you'll still have this back piece and those rails. Um, if a car has been modified or you know, restored over the years, many times those things are tossed. So if you do need some rails uh, to put on your backrest, you will have to go source a good used set off of, say, the Samba, or you can go to um, Facebook groups. Today, guys, are excellent. I've been posting a lot on Facebook groups, and it's really remarkable how fast um, people are responding to my, my posts. They have stuff, so. Okay. 
And now here are the is the bottom rests. So here's your butt seats for the for the front seat. So again, the gray uh, the gray vinyl. And what's nice about these two, I forgot to mention, is that this is hidden stitched. So you have a nice deep stitch here. So when this is on your seat, it looks really professional. It looks really nice as opposed to it being like a heat seam that you see a lot on the TMI seats. The TMI seats is just a heated seam. It's not even a stitch actually. So, uh, but um, again, very correct for this time period. And um, what's also nice with Lenny stuff and also so fine is that they also give another layer of padding sewn uh, underneath the actual vinyl as well. Uh, so it just gives you that nice tightness uh, with the seat when it's all done. TMI stuff, you know, there's no, there's no extra layer of foam here. Uh, it's just straight to, to the vinyl. So a lot of times you might see a lot of vinyl seats on a TMI that they look kind of baggy uh, just because, um, you know, that this little extra set of foam helps. But you could always wrap the seat with, say, a layer of jute or a small layer of foam on top of new seat foam or horsehair uh, to give you a tighter, firm uh, seat. So very nice, very nice material, very nice quality here. And um, this will shape nicely even with the, uh, just a little bit of heat, a little bit of sun. And the cis straps, um, these are cloth. We went with cloth. Landon wanted to go with a cloth, the cis strap, and uh, in Europe, if you would have had a 58 Beetle in Europe, the assist straps would have been cloth. Um, and in Europe also, the, this would have been cloth too. Let's bring this back over here, the bottom rest. This section would not have been the gray vinyl in Europe. It would have had a cloth uh, on this fabric on the face of the seat and the bottom rest of the seat. The sides still would have been the vinyl, probably the blue. Um, but this, this area here would have been cloth. Well, Landon did want to go with the Euro, a little bit of Euro touch in the car, so he went with cloth uh, assist straps. And uh, also remember too, your door posts, let's see if I can open this up for you. Oh. Your door posts would have, and under quarter windows, would have been this gray vinyl. Okay, so kind of matching the vinyl, the gray vinyl on the seat. So. In earlier Beetles, if you would have had, say, a blue interior, uh, say, a um, one of those uh, Horizon Blue um, interior, which is like a baby blue, um, your doorposts, if the seats were blue on the inside, all blue, not two-tone, uh, your doorposts would have been blue, like this, you know, so instead of this being gray, it would have been a dark blue. Uh, so actually, I had to clarify that with Lenny yesterday, because I thought the posts would have been blue. Uh, but he re-clarified to me that the 5859 Beetles all had the, uh, the gray posts and under quarter windows. So what's nice about what he does too is he'll, he'll sew the post to the material that goes under the quarter window. So um, that's correct. That's what it would have been. Uh, they did a lot of sewing uh, to your headliners back then uh, from factory. Uh, if you go through so fine, um, I get a trim kit from her, an excellent trim kit just like this, and she'll even do the, the correct post like this if you want. Um, just tell her, call it funky wind lace if you do want to go through so fine, and she'll make that for you. Uh, but if she does this, um, I don't know if she sews, if it's an option to sew this, but most of the time when you order this trim kit from so fine, this is going to be a separate piece. So all you have to do then is just make like a tuck and uh, it'll have a finished look to it. Still give the kind of similar results. So here's the other door panel, door, uh, door post rather. Okay. And then here's the extra material that they give you for the armrest. And let me open this up. So the armrest is going to be the navy blue in between the, in the gray diamond area. So nice contrast there. Hopefully, if you do have still your original um, armrest, you use this to wrap, and it wraps around actually a piece of foam and sits in a metal tray. Um, the foam sits in a tray, uh, part of the armrest, and then this wraps around the foam. And then on top of that, there's a chrome trim piece that you see here that actually also goes around the armrest. Uh, nice little touch that they had back in the 50s. It was a really, really cool, actually. So when you buy this kit, this is what you get. 
and you get this extra piece. So here's the other bottom rest. And then here's the backrest. Same, you see they have the gray on the face of the seat. And then the back and the sides is the blue vinyl. So if you would have had, there were other color options in these years, you would have had green and gray, red and gray, more like a brick red and gray. Uh, and then the blue, of course. So, and they all had triple coating again, you know, with the off-white piping like you see here. So, but that's the backrest. And again, nice layer of foam here. In addition to the foam you're gonna use. Now, I like using TMI foam um, to actually, to pad my seats. Uh, I think the TMI foam is, ex foam is excellent. Uh, it's nice high density foam and it really makes the seat nice and posh. You could go with Wolfsburg West. They do have the um, so-called horsehair, original style kind of material, but they use like a cocoa fiber, I think now. Um, so it doesn't kind of shred apart and kind of give you the same feel. It's a harder feel on your tush. <laughs> um, it's, not, it's not as, uh, the, the, the foam of course is a little softer. Uh, but I feel with the horsehair, I need to put an extra layer on the horsehair in order to get me the tightness that I want on my seat. So, so here's the other backrest and then here's the, the back bottom rest. So this is the back seat here. So that's kind of what you get in your kit. Um, Lenny is still sending me the headliner for this kit and the headliner would have been a light gray cloth style material similar to a like a pool table style feeling material um, which is uh, really nice and his headliners are excellent they work they go in beautifully into the car uh, very forgiving um, professional material feel you know it's like, I think they call it like a broad cloth and um, I see a lot of the same similar cloths used in, you know, some American uh, classic cars that I go to and I see at car shows, a similar cloth that they use in their headliners. Um, really nice, uh, definitely better than vinyl. I do love tweed, so Carol has the tweed headliners. You could always do something like that. She has great tweed cloth as well, and that still looks pretty good. And I did do a video on uh, headliners um, in the past and uh, I showed tweed cloth up against a real headliner fabric material and um, you know it's so funny the original fabric material was a was a very woven material so <laughs> it actually looked closer to tweed original you know being the the tweed style but it was just a finer woven material as opposed to the coarser look that the tweed has so uh, just put this back in the box and I want to show you one last thing so check these out. To finalize the interior for Landon's car, we opted to go for, again, a dealer option. And our, you see there, these pillows. So cool. Um, I think it just adds such a nice little flair to, to Beatles. Um, makes the rear seat look like a couch, actually. And uh, I, I get these a lot for my Beatles, and uh, many of my clients want this as well. So it's definitely an addition. Um, a few hundred bucks extra <laughs> to go with this. Um, but it, it really makes it look nice. So this whole kit that I got from Lenny, seats, door panels, headliner, um, door post area, the correct trim. This is before carpet and it came roughly around $2,500. So yeah, it's, it's, it's more expensive than your typical kit that you would get say from TMI, but the fit and finish and the quality is, is far superior uh, and actually more correct for your car. So. Um, when you do this, you bring value up to your car because you're making it more correct, more vintage, more period looking, uh, as opposed to, you know, TMI is a great kit. Um, it's great for, you know, if you're on a budget um, and you're not too concerned with period correctness, uh, the TMI kit will, will do fine. Uh, but if you want it to look correct and look right, have the right colors and all, um, either Lenny or, we or uh, SoFine, is the way to go. Uh, if you go through SoFine to get a kit like this, you'll probably get this cheaper. Um, so maybe even under two grand, you might be able to get this done with SoFine. So, um, but yeah, guys, this is before carpet. Now, if you did want to go even, you know, get the correct stuff, my, I get my carpet kits from uh, Wolfsburg West and most of these suppliers, they're all using the same sort of German square weave material. Um, I go through Wolfsburg West because they are uh, I found their prices to be a little bit better than 
the other guys and they I like their sewing I like what they do um, and then for free they'll also sew the rubber mat to the front firewall section where they're supposed to where it's supposed to be sewn uh, Lenny can do that too uh, along with Carol but uh, I just go through Wolfsburg uh, just for I don't I just been using them for a while and it comes actually very quick it comes within a week's time so uh, as opposed to waiting weeks. So if you did go with Lenny or SoFi, they are still operating right now as of this time, January 2021. They're super busy and um, they might take you eight to 10 weeks to get these kits in. So definitely plan ahead. And uh, you know, I, I always plan ahead and schedule my cars correctly. So making sure that we have the whole interior kit in when we're ready to assemble. Uh, so always good to plan out your restoration and have things on a dotted line, dot your I's, cross your T's and such. So, all right guys, I hope you liked that video. Uh, unboxing an interior kit for a 50s Beetle, 5859, just a two year style that they offered. And um, yeah, you know, the 50s was really, really super. That's when, it, you know, things were sewn and uh, just a nice fit and finish. As the years went on, Volkswagen was, uh, you know, going less and less quality on the interiors, not as a quote unquote luxurious, <laughs> uh, if you want to call it that. Uh, but as they got into the later years, things, you know, were, were going down in uh, quality, I guess, uh, to save costs. But uh, so, yeah. All right, guys, that's that video for today. Uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also for the price of a cup of coffee, you guys can send me a PayPal donation. It's in the link below the description here. And um, PayPal link, yeah, cup of coffee, cup of box, keeps this content going, keeps me going, coming back here every week to give you VW vintage news and updates. So uh, whatever you guys can uh, throw at us is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, take care.